Yeah. The more you let them sit, the more they warm up, yeah. the more you oh, get out of them. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. They're definitely not a drink, a beer that you want to drink mm. cold. No. You have to. I mean, it's like some like red wine. So yeah. this is a bit of a tangent. But like red wine. People yeah. put red wine in the fridge in Australia because red wine is well, not meant to be served. Your mother serves. No, no, no. Because no, 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 no. It's so true. Any wine should not be served as a, above a certain temperature. Right. And it's we get too hot. Yeah. Room temperature is way too hot. Close to the surface of the sun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess the same with um, these sorts of beers is that they um, require a little bit of heat. Yeah. Yeah. To bring out their flavours. And if they were, I mean, I don't know how that gets served in the UK, but I imagine that it doesn't get chilled. It's served mm -hmm. at... I would hope not. It gets cold in the yeah. UK. <laughs> Guinness <laughs> Extra Stout. Now, Guinness, I think recently, uh, it, it was an anniversary. I can't remember if it was, if it was the 200th or 300th anniversary. Well, hang on a minute. Of... 1759 it was established, so 250, it would have been the 250th anniversary okay. of, is it William Guinness? Was that his name? I think it was William Guinness. Signing a lease for the property that they, uh, that they brew on yeah. for 9,000 years. Fair he enough. took out a 9,000 year lease. I would too. Yeah. That is confidence in your brand. Yeah, but I also think they use the water from that land. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that alone is worth its yeah. money. It's the same as, I can't remember, there's a, there's a brewery on the South Island of New Zealand, and I can't remember exactly which one it is. There's a few of them. But Tell us if you know. <laughs> yeah. Add it in the comments below. I'm sure there's a couple of, of oh, Where's Otago University? I'm sure it's there. I don't know. Yeah. But on I've the outside of the brewery, there. they've got a tap. And you can come and fill up water containers oh, water, yeah. from the tap mm. because it is pure spring water. Mm. So the brewery provide that to the locals as yeah. a as a. I think there's a, a, um, a Tassie brewery as well. A Tassie Pro craft Pro brewery. Remember we listened to a young podcast? There's yeah. a Tassie Braff crew who does exactly that. They have their yeah. own springs. Yeah. And that's the only water they'll use. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. And I suppose it gives, if you've it, got it the, gives it the taste, water. the elements. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, it's not the purest water. I can't imagine it would be. But it gives it the taste of well, the elements of the earth. it depends on where it's coming from. Like yeah. if it's coming from a, a spring, then it, it potentially is. It's been mm. filtered up through sand. and. I know. No. It'd be tasty. Yeah. We should, we and should. collecting all of the minerals from all the rock that it's coming up through. Yeah. Could you imagine setting up a brewery on Fraser Island which has the purest water in the yeah. world? Yeah. Wow. Mm, yeah, but then because it's pure, it doesn't have those minerals in it. So you've got to add minerals in it to give that mouth feel and enhance oh, okay. the flavour. Yeah. Right. Anyway, back to but that's Dennis another topic. Extra stout. <laughs> well, yeah. Water conditioning is a completely different topic. Um, so this particular brew was first brewed in 1821. Yeah. It's, it's the original Guinness recipe. So the, I, I imagine that there were other recipes before then, but then this is the one that, that they've settled on. To say, this is our core recipe. One. Yeah. Uh, it was originally named Guinness Superior Porter. Mm -hmm. Um, but then as... The names have changed, as we talked about before. Porters were the original black beer, and then they became extra stout porters, mm. and yeah. So this was this was originally a, a Guinness Superior Porter. I'm going to say something now that might be a little bit controversial. Okay. Okay. On the back of the label, it says beer made in Australia under license from blah 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 by Lion. So Lion Nathan brew this in Australia. Oh, maybe he has it's it not. Well, they do, but is it Guinness if it's brewed in Australia? Yeah, because he's only just... If it doesn't come out of the Guinness factory. No, but neither does that. Obviously, it's their recipe. Neither does this. Yeah, I know. This doesn't come out of the Guinness unless, factory either. Yeah, unless you're in Ireland, you're probably not getting no. Guinness that comes from the Guinness factory. No. 
And I think there's only... And it's the same, as, Co- it's the same as Coca-Cola. I Coca-Cola they, in Australia is brewed under licence to Coca-Cola yeah. So they still use the same um, recipes. Yeah, yeah. But they're just And the same here. process. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just... Yeah, if it's brewed under licence, is it actually... Yeah, because... The original... I've got my own views on that, and they're very strong views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't go down that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is a definite rabbit hole. But Lion, again, Lion Nathan. Well, Corona's brewed in Australia. Yeah, I know. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of those, rather than shipping them all the way, they brew them locally. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I can't imagine. Well, there might be a few like this one. Oh, this is definitely an import. That's who, not who brewed in Australia. Brew. Yeah. You know, it's shipped here, but then how many people drink it? So they yeah. only have to ship a small amount. Yes. Yeah. Whereas yeah. this stuff that we drink. Yeah, that regularly. maybe maybe comes in as a, a container yeah. once a year or something. Yeah. Yeah. So and I can understand that. I mean, obviously Guinness took off in Australia. Everybody likes it. They went, oh, okay, we'll just yeah. we'll just set up a distri- we'll just set up a brewing station here yeah. in Australia. Yeah. 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 Okay, keep going. But. I, what so I was saying con- is that what, controversy. So that's it, it is. I've, like I said, I've got strong opinions on this. <laughs> strong opinions on this. <laughs> um, and it's Lion Nathan. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But Please do. there are two major brewing companies: Lion Nathan and Dominion Brewing. And they're both New Zealand companies, and they both own most Australian major breweries. So, why why does that surprise you? Forex, I think Carlton United is still owned locally, but but um, please Tui's. correct us if we're wrong. Please Tui- correct him if he's wrong. <laughs> Tui's, yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure Tui's is owned by Dominion. Uh, does it? Matter? It's not Australian owned anymore. Well. Does it actually say it's Australian owned? I think it just says it's brewed here in Australia. No, 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 it is. It's, it's brewed under license. Yeah, exactly. By Lion so, Nathan. So Lion Nathan are collecting the money on this one. So they... And then they just pay Guinness a, a royalty, basically. Well, so they had enough money to buy what they had to buy to yeah. have the license. Yeah. It's, a, it's, an, old, it's an old school. joke. It's um, about the late, great Bob Hawke. So th- th- this is a joke that came around uh, around about the 1980s, not maybe 1990s. <laughs> Bob Hawke dies and his body's frozen and they find a cure for, for whatever it was he had. And he's thawed out and brought back to life. Mm. And he's, he's worried about Australia. He's worried about how we're going. He mm. says, you know, turns to the doctors and says, How's the economy going? They say, well, we're, we're doing better than ever. You know, we're, our GDP is... Yes, okay. Is, 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 is massive. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> he says, what about... Oh, you've thrown me off. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're meant to be drinking yeah. beer, not talking okay. jokes. <laughs> he says, what, what about uh, unemployment? Well, unemployment's the lowest it's ever been. It's... 0.01% of the population is okay. unemployed. Yep. He says, the most important question I've got, how much does a beer cost? The doctor says, oh, about 100 yen. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the, the 80s and 90s when Australia was afraid of Japan. Yes. And I think there's other... Now we're not afraid of anything. Hang on a minute. Stop, 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 stop. Before you just chug on down. I wasn't. I was was about to smell. (laughs) The head. I've still got head on that. You still have. How do I not have it? I don't don't have a beard. What's going on? (laughs) Do you swap glasses? And I pulled yours first. I'm not getting a lot. No, I'm not getting a lot at all. No. From a scent wise, from a smell wise. Yeah, it's, it's very vague. It's like... I mean, there's something there, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Compared to the shepherd name. Oh my God, that like hit you. Yeah. Even compared to the Coopers, the Coopers had more. No, there's a bit of sweetness about yeah. it. I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe some maltiness. Yeah, maltiness. Yeah, but not much else. 
Well, that's it's sweetness is the multi yeah, yeah. anyway. There's no, I can't. There's no very low bitterness, not no bitterness, but very low. There's a little bit of coffee on the back of the palate. Oh, I get that stringency. It's like, yeah. it's not harsh, but it's there. Um, No, it's Cream, still in creamy. my mouth. It's still in my mouth. There's creaminess. <clears throat> Babe, I love this job. <laughs> Get pissed on TV. <laughs> yeah, if only we got paid for it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Hey, it's fun. Yeah. Um, and we've got actually some exciting ideas, really. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We do. Stay tuned because honestly, we won't be sitting here drinking on our own. You're going to be joining us. So we have some really exciting yeah. ideas to come up. And we, because we want to taste with you. So we're going to give out a couple of beers. You've got to go and find them, which might be hard in some well, countries. We'll, we'll put a list out. Yeah. And we'll try and make them fairly ubiquitous, as in easy to find. Well, not necessarily. Could be. Yeah, some, I mean, well, could be the, the, the problem chance. the problem is we know we've got some US viewers. But no, the the only, so whether they can find all of these beers, I mean, they're definitely not going to find the Brendale. No, they're not going to. But the other thing is, we mind can just, you, that's a ringing that came in at the last minute. But the other thing is, we can just say, okay, tonight we're tasting dark beers. Yeah. And dark beers, big classes, blah blah blah. What have you got? And you'll Bring always have a Guinness. Yeah, Guinness is everywhere. Really. Yeah. Is Guinness in America? Oh yeah, absolutely. I like to there's, know. There's a strong Irish population, especially in, in places like New York. Yeah, I'm... It's not the Shepherd Neiman Co, is it? No, God. That smacked me in the head. Mm. Like, not in the head, like, as in, God, yeah, it did get me drunk, but that hit me. Like, yeah. I took his, I took his it was, and I was like, wow. Full body, that full flavour. Wow. It was a complex beer. Oh my God, it was but It, it was, was creamy. Beautiful. It was a little bit bitter. There's a bit of bitterness in it that I got. Just a smidgen. Mm, yeah. But yeah, coming back to you. Um, well, I'd say more than this. This I'd say this is even lower on <laughs> I think we should have actually drunk that last because I think it's now sport, our taste yeah. buds. No, I don't think so. I'd say from the things that spoil. So this, this, and this marry quite like they're very even in taste yeah. and yeah. Um, effect. Yeah, I would drink a Cooper's before I drink that. The reason being is that, like you say, there's not a lot of difference between the two. There's not a lot of difference at all. Cooper's is a lot cheaper. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the Scottish coming out in me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Did I say I was a skin flint? <laughs> That's my home's bruise. <laughs> that one there, you could mm. definitely taste. Like yeah. for me, it was I could taste the sweetness. It was yeah. just that that was so full of body and mouth, and it had tastes, and it was like it sang on your your taste buds. Mm. Yeah. It was yeah. very nice. Was... This these two were. Comparison is weak as yeah. there's no there's nothing. I wouldn't say they're weak. I would just say they're not as complex. Okay, so when you say complex, what do you mean by that? They don't have all of that flavour and the 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 as like for me, as I drank the Shepherd Neiman Co, it was like, oh there's coffee. Oh, there's chocolate. Oh, there's dark fruit. <laughs> oh, there's like it just kept coming. Oh, and, a, oh and a little God. bit of, as you as you as you swallowed. Oh, and there's a hint of bitterness. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that all just marries out. Yeah. It just evens it itself out. Yeah. Yeah. But saying that too, now drinking 
drinking the Guinness after that, it's a bit flat. It is, isn't it? It's <laughs> like, okay, yeah. As much as we love our Guinness. It's boring. It's a bit flat after And I'm a bit that. scared now to drink my favourite Guinness. Yeah. After drinking all that because yeah. I'm, I'm going to be sadly disappointed, I think.